Today's video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. If she has a million fans, I'm one of them. If she has 100 fans, I am one of them. If she has a single fan, I am that fan. If she has no fans, I am no longer here. If the world is against her, I am against the world. Who is she, you might ask? She is FlexiSpot. The desk you've been looking for to complete your home office or your at-home gaming setup. Flexi Spot is obviously a standing desk. It comes in white or black. Of course, I chose white to go with my future aesthetic once we move into our house. But obviously, you saw where it started. So obviously, you can move it up or down to your liking. And then once you have it at your desired height, you can also lock it. in place so when you bump up against it it doesn't move if you have a kid a pet who jumps up on desk they can't easily move it and of course you can just unlock it and move it back down if we're being realistic since i am currently living out of one bedroom i love that this desk is so wide because it allows me to store a lot of things on it and still have room to have my laptop so i can still work so i'm gonna put my books back where they were now that you've seen the loveliness of this desk and show you what my real set looks like don't mind the wardrobe there's also a usb plug right here which is super nifty okay and i know you're like jessica <laughs> this desk is great but how much does it cost well here's the thing this desk does cost a decent amount, but it's really high quality. When my brother-in-law put it together, he told me to tell you that this was really made out of good quality and didn't feel cheap and flimsy like some other things he's put together and that it was easy to assemble from September 7th to September 9th. You can get this desk for $200 off. I said $200. So I have a link in my description. If you click that link, you can go get yourself a flexi spot desk. $200 off. They don't do big discounts like this that this often. The next one probably won't be until Black Friday. So why put it off when you know you need it? You've been working at home for two years. You know you need this desk. Stop gaming in that chair. You know you need this desk. So click the link down below. Get yourself a Flexi Spot and zhuzh up your space. You deserve it. So thank you to Flexi Spot for sponsoring today's video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. In another location, these are not my shelves. Um, this is my sister-in-law's shelves. So, mind your business. <laughs> and uh, we're still struggling. I need to wash my hair. But y'all, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a video of my hairbrush that I was using for detangling because she has died. She said, rest in peace, please retire me, let me go. And I need to, Mia, back up, please. Back up, go on now. I need to go to a Sally's or Ulta or something cause I can't even find my Y2 comb and I am not washing my hair without having a proper detangling tool. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get this. You're gonna get this and you're gonna like it, okay? So, obviously I'm in America, but I had sent a lot of packages here. Um, so I have quite a few <laughs> and more. A lot of fairy loot boxes. So maybe you've seen these books um, from other people, but I haven't seen them. I haven't opened them, they've been here. And then I have some other random things. And so I'm just gonna unbox them because why not, right? Fun. Right. let's, this one, which is uh, one of my merch that I got. Oh, so my God. Okay, so, although, okay. So I wanted to see this printed. So I got this mug. And this is on Bonfire and it's like a taller mug. I don't know the ounces, if I can find it, I'll put it here, but it's, you know, taller mug. And it says head dog in charge. Super cute. I love this color and I love this font on the back. This, hush, this, I love this art, but it doesn't look big enough. And I feel like this is the biggest I could get. But it's super cute. It's just like, I wish it was bigger. I don't know. Tell me what you think, I, but I do love the head dog in charge. So I do have this mug if you would like to get it, plus shirts. I'm gonna work on seeing what I could do with this image though. But I like how big it is and how big this handle is. You know when you get a mug and it's like, you can hold it like this. What the hell am I gonna do with that? I can hold this. Okay, so good to know. And then I'm gonna break it up. So I'm gonna do some fairy loot books 
and then I have something else that's bookish but not a book so I don't know what months these are they've just been stacked up in the room and you know you don't need to see all of that stuff um this one was demigods and donuts I don't know I honestly the only book I know for sure I think I have I know two of them that I have I don't know where the rest of them are and this little drawstring bag this looks pretty I don't know what the hell it is uh let's see what the hell come on now the undertaking of heart and mercy I oh I have I was like I don't think I've seen this but I think the original cover is this color and this says true love might be the death of them yeah I have no ooh. oh that is pretty I know we're seeing people complain that a lot of the fairy loot adult only books because that's what this box is have all been black sprayed edges and I haven't seen any of mine oh it is a little got a little bent it's fine what is this even about oh that is so cute the little pictures and the end pages so we have heart is a marshal tasked with patrolling the magical wilds of tarn tonria it's an unforgiving job and heart's got nothing but time to ponder his loneliness mercy has a never has a moment to herself hmm she's been keeping bird stall and sun undertakers afloat in defiance of sullen jerk i don't know i see a dog and i think that's cute i might read it i haven't really heard anything about this of course it's signed and it's published by Orbit. So yeah, I if anyone has heard anything about this, let me know. But I think this is super cute. My my I don't know if you can tell. My copy's kind of like warped, but whatever. Um, this is very cute. I don't know. I did not have luck with the bone orchard with the, the hands on the cover earlier this year. So I'm hoping this is better. But just the little bit I brows look cute. This is a series. Honestly, no idea, but it's very pretty. So excited to have <gasps> Oh my god! Dang, that's beautiful. Even if I don't like it, I'm gonna have to keep this one. This is more photos. Oh, I see a cake. Okay, this could be promising, y'all. This could be promising. <laughs> Hold up now. Hold up. Okay, uh, another fairy loot box. This one is Dark Academia. I think this was the first one with the Atlas Six. Uh, should I keep the little cards with them? sure oh that did say demigods and donuts i wonder if she bakes in that one i love baking in a book and in real life let's be honest okay now jessica do you own the atlas six already the self-published copy yes do you now have this fancy copy yes jessica have you read it i sure have it this is not that one this is the city of dusk Are the dark academia box or maybe this, I am so confused. Maybe this previews to the next box. Y'all, I don't even know. I don't know. So this one just plain edges, which, okay, this cover is really pretty. Edges are plain. I haven't really heard many people talk about this one either. This is kind of chunky. Oh, that is cute. The gods have withdrawn their favor in once vibrant, thriving city. Hmm. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this cover is like fine. If I don't like it, I still might keep it and just put it on my shelf like this. Look, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Oh, and it's got a little, it's got a little ribbon. Did this one have a ribbon? I don't see a ribbon in that one, but this one has a white ribbon, like a bookmark ribbon. Oh my gosh, how long is this? I was on like five something, but yeah, those end pages are gorgeous. And we shall see. So we got another one. I don't know. I feel more encouraged about the first one. Okay, one more fairy loot book, and then I'm gonna open something else. And this one, I'm not even gonna look at the card because I don't think the card is accurate. Ooh, Mia, don't eat those. Mia is um a doggy. She's right here. I just in the room because of them three. Oh, I'll insert this picture. It's a circus. Okay, this. Ooh, this is the Atlas Six. I thought it was white, but it's like a cream color with the gold oh that's nice and then that's pretty that's pretty knowledge is carnage i'm i'm really oh okay oh, wow oh i might really gonna have to have my olivia october noise we love that mia do you think it's pretty she's unamused and are these the same people in the back no, these are different people. Okay. 
than more people. Okay. But I have so many of her books. I'm gonna have my right So I'm holding out hope. I know this is so hit or miss for people. I just wanna be, I wanna be in the in crowd. I want this to be a hit for me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then I have this, and I think this was the thing I got because of Izzy. Yes, it is. And it's the barcode scanner. I don't know if you saw her TikTok. It went freaking viral. And basically, it is a barcode scanner. And it comes with this little thing. It comes with all the things you need. And you can basically go through all the books in your library and scan them. Oh. I didn't expect that to make a beeping sound already. But essentially, you can go through and scan them and catalog your whole library digitally. And yeah, I saw her TikTok and I was like, uh, I need that. And so did everyone else. So I know a bunch of people ordered this and I was like, let me get it before it's out of stock. So I know like you do something with this, you do something with this. There's a plug in thing. It has a little instruction thing, but I am excited once and it's going to be perfect once we are unpacking because as I'm putting books on the shelves, I can do it instead of having to take them off the shelf. Do I turn it off? Is there a way to turn it off? Did I turn it on? Cha! I hope it ain't broke. Anyway, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I know it's gonna be like time consuming, but also a fun activity. Very excited about that. Um, and then something different. So I've mentioned my friend Cody before, who I know from Bookstagram. I apologize if I'm sounding extra country because as soon as I get around country people, it's over. I be the accent comes out. So I ordered from her shop, which I will link below. Not sponsored, but this is just me trying to shout out a friend. And um, I had Andrew bring the candles with him back to the States. And I burned one. It smells amazing. I have another one to burn. And I'm gonna order more stuff now that I'm here. But there was a bigger thing that he left here. So I haven't opened it. But now I get to see like the envelope and there's these beautiful stickers in here. Yes. And this one. I need this. Can you see that? Don't forget that things can and will get better. There you go. I, I, <clears throat> the time I need this. And then this is the brand. It is beautiful curated home decor, Kuya. Um, and so yes, okay. So my, what, what, I, what did I order? I think it was just those things, right? I ordered the candles and then this, okay. I was like, oh my God, I want to order more now that I'm here, but yes. Oh yeah, this looks so nice. I forgot where this was from. Like, is it from Italy or for somewhere? Oh yes. I'm gonna have to put this back in here though because it's gonna be covered in dog hair if I don't. Oh, you can never have too many throw blankets. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. It's gonna match my couch perfectly. It has like the gray stripes and then the little tassels at the end. And then also these big ones like this. I'm gonna have to keep Nigel from eating it. But this is definitely a decorative throw. I am not, we're not laying on this, but I just, mm, I love this. This is, mm. yay. And oh my God, you really have to check out her shop because there's so many like decorative vases that I want to get. Once we move in, it's gonna be the bomb. So thank you, Cody. Shout out to you. Um, Oh my God, my foot's going numb, hold on. See, I keep getting country. Oh my foot. Okay. We, okay, we're almost there. Also, look at this box. So this is from the Broken Binding and did it show up broken? I'm not gonna blame this on them, so it's probably USPS, but luckily the book inside seems fine and I got this cute bookmark but I did order this <laughs> before I had read the ninth rain I was like I really hope I like them so I did really love the ninth rain I need to continue in the series but this is a bookmark and they did they are doing because I think they just sent out the second book uh, special editions of the ninth rain so I think the outside may be the same Ooh, but it's glossy and then the sprayed edges. So, because I have like the UK paperbacks, which are super tight, but there's the, ooh, it's all glossy. The ninth rain, red on the side. And then like this is the inside. <gasps> oh, 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 that's freaking, hold on. 
That is beautiful. Oh my God. Yes. I remember when Elle was telling everyone about this, these were so hard to get. Like you couldn't buy them from the US, had them get them for the UK. And then I ordered them and then one of mine got lost. And then I tried to replace the order and they said, then they were out of stock. And then I bought one on eBay and then they said they were out of stock. Chaos. And it's signed. So this is so exciting. Ooh, let's see. There's only 1500 numbered copies. And I have number 1365. So yay, I'm gonna have the second one on the way. Well, it's already on the way, so I need to get to reading it, but this is beautiful. And I feel like if the first book is any indication, this might be one of my favorite series. So very excited to have this. Oh my God, I'm gonna have so much to take with me. <laughs> um, and then I have two more fairy loot books, and then I have a mini skincare that I wanna show you. Cause why not? And, um, Okay, here on my bed, there's Nigel. I look a mess, but I have two more, or I got another thing. And so I figured that since I hadn't posted this video, I would unbox it for you. And that's upside down. <coughs> Nigel's intrigued. It's the second package from The Broken Binding. So this is the second book in Ninth Rain. Nigel, do you approve? Is it okay? Okay, let's open it. Let's open it. Okay. He's sniffy. Is it okay? Is it okay? Oh, we love good packaging. All right. It's all in the bubble wrap. Lay down, please. Down. Lay down, boo. Nigel, lay down. Dare you. Oh, so close to the cameras. Okay. Mama's gonna open it. And then it's wrapped again, Mimi. Look. It's wrapped like a gift. We love it. Look, we got another bookmark. This one's the Bitter Twins. Yes. Approved. Okay. I love this. I don't even want to open it. <laughs> but I'm going to. <laughs> Ooh. Nini. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, Nini. Oh, not them dent in my book. Not them. I'm talking about USPS. Okay. Nini, we're gonna have to back up. We gotta back up. Okay, here's the bitter twins. By a Nini. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. I don't have good lighting in here, but it just has to do, okay? This is not my house. There's the bitter twins. It is orange on the side. I feel like it looks red, but it's orange. Okay, Nigel. Um, and then the end pages. Oh, and here's my favorite part. Oh, dragon. I think it's a dragon. I think this is a Porsche. <laughs> Porsche showing. So the book is orange. This side has an orange sprayed edges. And oh my gosh, she looks thick. I wish you could see. It's like this material. I don't know. This is different. I feel like it's like a glossy this part feels buttery but this is like glossy i don't know what do you think nigel do you like it high five yay he says he likes it you like it i bet it's messy yay we love it <laughs> i wonder if this is the one i really don't want <laughs> that I'm mad that I wasn't paying attention to and didn't cancel or didn't skip the month. I think it, it might be. Is this it? Yeah. I'm just gonna add this to Sarah. Here's Sarah. <laughs> it's, I mean, cool, but the book sucks. <laughs> the book is terrible i am like she is she got by on name and reputation from like the cruel prince and her other books alone because this book is trash and her team did her dirty damn this is beautiful okay if i keep it it's literally i mean i do think this cover is nice it's nothing to write home about but i think it's nice but this this is beautiful I would keep this on my shelf, decorative. I might as well, shit, I already paid all this goddamn money for it, but I'm never rereading this book. This book was garbage. <sighs> Holly, you need to call your team because somebody, 
is plotting against you, honey. Mm -mm. And then the last one of this, which, yep, still don't know what this one is because the two I knew were the Atlas Six and uh, Book of Night. This one looks very colorful. I am struggling. Jesus, that is bright. Her Majesty's Royal Cover Coven. Why did we go with highlighter yellow? I don't know how I feel about it. And then on the side is something in Latin, I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, I like the art, but I don't like the yellow. And I, again, have not heard of this. Oh, this is cute how the signature is right there. That is cute. <gasps> oh, okay. Now, let me say something. The, all of these, all these naked covers have been hit. So, if anything, art. Pieces of, of art. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Wow, Juno Dawson has written a lot of things. I, I don't know who he is. Oh, there's a map. We have Edinburgh, Manchester, London. Okay, something in England. Juno Dawson. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know them. I don't know what this is about. It's buttery. It's something. But um, ex except for Book of Night, I haven't read any of these. So maybe I'll do like a reading vlog trying to read these fairy loot books, even though they're going to keep coming. But you know, maybe every couple of months, I could do like a couple per month. But I need to start going on those sites and figuring out what the book is going to be so I can skip it if I don't want it. But I've just been not focused. So my last thing is just a little bit of skincare from Style Vana. And so they were having a sale. So I was like, well, I need to re-up on my sunscreen. But I was like, let me go ahead and send it ahead. So I have more there. So it's just my favorites. They changed the packaging. The branding for this isn't true, but it's the Hyaluronic uh, Watery Sun Gel. And love, love. I also got this in a sun stick, but that is the liquid. And then of course, I had to get two of my Queen Beauty of Joseon their sunscreen which was in my recent community video i talked about at the end but these are i have tried a lot of sunscreens thus far not all of them but a lot and these two so far are my holy grail and i don't think they're that expensive um like they're more expensive than just like an eight dollar bottle of copper tone at the store but they're not that expensive and style vana has sales all the time but they were like half off so i got two of each and I'll have style vinyl link down there I do have like an affiliate link I think you get like 20% off and then I get 15% off or something and then some random random samples but yes I would say re-skincare all skincare you should be wary of buying off Amazon because sometimes it could be expired um I mean worse or I mean it could be expired it could be not the right product it could be terrible with i don't know um sometimes you can go to the website and then they will lead you like they'll have i don't know if it's like recommended buyers or approved sellers or something and sometimes it'll take you directly to amazon you're like okay well i have to buy it here but sometimes like i wouldn't buy these off of amazon you can buy them from stylevana um there's a there's many websites where you can get like verified korean beauty products there's also like yes style um there's some like all of something. I just use Stavana. That's what I happen to use. But I would just, I don't know, be wary of buying skincare and makeup products. Maybe not makeup tools, but makeup products from Amazon. But that's just your little friendly reminder from me. Here's all my goodies. Oh my God. I also, uh, for Prime Day, I got an ice maker. I am so excited. But obviously we won't be using it till we move into our house, but oh God, that will ice. I got such a good deal on it. Um, and I, I cannot wait to use it. But I'm gonna go stick all of this mail up in the room and there's <laughs> more coming. So I just thought that was fun and I need to recycle all of these boxes. But anyway, if you have read any of these fairy loot books, please let me know. Let me know your thoughts. And then also, okay, out of all these editions, I want everyone below to vote what your favorite cover is. Just the regular cover, not the naked hardcover. So I'm gonna give you a show. All right. Undertaking of Heart Mercy, number one. Okay. The City of Dusk, number two. The Atlas Six, number three. Ninth Rain, number four. And Her Majesty's Royal Coven, number five. Out of all just those, 
regular outside cover. Tell me what's your favorite. <sighs> Tell me how you're doing, all these things. Go check out my friend's Cody's shop. My friend Cody, her shop, which will be linked down there. And stuff and stuff and stuff. I'm doing okay, Nadja's okay, Andrew's okay, we're all right. Could be better if we were, you know, in Germany. Or, you know, anywhere in Europe. I would take Japan, South Korea. Oh, okay, that's not the point. All right, well, stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.